So for today's video, we're actually going to be opening up eight of these Transformers trading card packs, which I was surprised that Transformers or Hasbro was making Transformer cards, and I found these at Target. So let's see what we can get out of these packs. It says there's one foil Transformers character card and th seven battle cards in each pack. So the one obviously we're looking for is Optimus Prime. So let's see if we can get lucky and pull that. I really don't know what's in these booster packs or what cards come out of it. But if it's going to be characters, it has to be like Bumblebee or Optimus Prime, Grimlock, Megatron. So let's see. So let's see. They're like jumbo cards, I would have to say. So I don't know how you would build a deck out of these. But if we get anything good, we're going to grade them since I'm more into the grading than the playing. So let's see. Oh. Wow, this is not easy to open. Okay, so we just gotta be very careful when we cut these open. Okay, first pack. Let's see what we have. Don't, just gotta be careful. Oh, wow. Why can't Pokemon do this or something? That's oh. So the first card we have is a Star Scream. Oh, it's smaller cards than I thought. It's just a character card is pretty big. Uh, this one has some lines on it, but actually pretty cool. Oh, it's two sided too. Oh, it's a two sided card. Okay. So we have the Air Commander, Leader, Range. Four attack or something? Well, Decepticon. Bot mode. And then we have alt mode, which is vehicle mode, but so this is flight mode. Interesting. So I actually do have jumbo protectors, which I am putting this in right now, and then we're gonna take a look at the other cards right now. So let's get this one sleeved up first. It's not as big as I thought it would be, so that's good. But wow, that is pretty big, I have to say. So we'll put that right there. Okay, and we get pretty good cardboard. Put that away, and let's see what we get in this little pack. So, new designs you may play and upgrade. Huh. Okay, let's open this up. So these are all supposed to be battle cards. Which I don't think they're going to be any hollow ones, so let's see. Okay, now this makes more sense. Since now they're normal size playing cards, it makes more sense how you can build a deck with them. <laughs> Originally I thought it was going to be like... So a total of eight jumbo cards in there. Uh, that's good. Okay, so new designs. Reinforcement plating. Leap into battle. Medic. One shall stand, one shall fall. Actually, that's pretty cool. I'll probably think about that. Disarm. And armed hovercraft. Okay, there's only one card I think that I would actually sleeve up right now. I'll sleeve all of them up later. But the reason is this is like Optimus Prime's famous line. Line: One shall stand, one shall fall. Choose one of your characters and an enemy character. Do three damage to each of them. Wow, the quality on this card is really good too. Okay, so we'll sleeve those up later. But let's get on to the next one. So the first one was Star Screen. Let's see what we can get out of the next one. Okay. The only time I thought that you would have to cut packs open is like Japanese cards. So this is pretty good. I, I just want to be careful with it, even though now we know that everything in here is protected, which is good with cardboard. And the card we got is Flame War. 
Oh, I thought it was going to be RC. Oh, well. Okay, that is uh, vehicle mode. And, oh, actually, it looks pretty cool. Vet veteran Decepticon. So, the evil version of RC. Whoa, got to be careful with this. Actually, in, also in pretty good condition. So, let's put this inside its jumbo holder. I'm trying to be very delicate with this. There it is. Very nice. And then the next pack is crushing size. When you put this on a character, scrap an enemy utility if you can't draw a card. Do at least one damage when attacking, but not more than one attack total. Pierce numbers add together. Interesting. Okay, let's see. So we have crushing size. Flamethrower. Handheld blaster. Force field. Energon axe. Oh, in case you guys want to take a look at the what the card does. Treasure hunt. Jaws of steel. And that was the last one in that pack. Okay. Let's go with this one. So far, this is pretty interesting. I might get more of these later. And probably I'll be the first one to send these out to PSA. Wow, this is good. Wow. I really like that cardboard. <gasps> no way. We did it. Guys, we did it. We got Bumblebee. Courageous Scout. That's right, Bumblebee. Wow. It actually does it in... Wow. Oh. Well, let's see what PSA has to say about these overall. In great condition. Unfortunately, I don't have any penny sleeves for this size card, but at least we have the top loaders or card savers. Okay, that is uh, excellent. We got Bumblebee. Okay. Now, all we need is the leader. Hopefully we can get that today. When I saw these, I literally just got all of them. So, let's see. There we go. Yeah, Transformer should have always had trading cards as well. Piercing Blaster. Improvised Shield. Inspiring leadership. Oh, this is like from the movie. Draw three cards and scrap two of them from your hand. This is like graceful charity. Brainstorm. Shock absorbers. Turbo boosters. Plasma blast. Do two damage to an enemy. Wow. Since this is like a fairly new card game. Uh, I should say when it was printed actually. Let's check. Okay. Uh, anything that has nostalgic is the ones that are getting sleeved at the moment. So let's see. The packs. These were made in 
2018 by Wizards of the Coast. Oh, no wonder in such good quality. Pokemon Company and Konami. Um, lately, their printing is real. Well, their printing is pretty bad, I would say. Yu-Gi-Oh cards are not as good as they used to be. A lot of them are scratched right out of the pack. Pokemon, no exception. They could be damaged even when you pull them. Next one is Ransack. Ooh. Oh, we got Ransack. That's cool. Oh, it's an Insecticon Commando. Interesting. It's the grasshopper. So most of we got Decepticons right now. All we got is one Autobot. But that one Autobot is the one that matters. So let's slowly sleep this. And apparently this is a wave one. There we go. Cool. I wonder how popular this will get. Okay, or it might not even get any popular popularity, so we'll see. But a lot of people love Transformers, so this might become a really popular card game, hopefully. So, Improvise Shield, Inspiring Leadership again, Brainstorm, New Designs, Team Up Tactics, Backup plan. Oh, look, Optimus Prime. Scrap your hand and draw three cards. Treasure hunt. So actually, there's three cards I want to steal in that one. One being Optimus Prime in the picture and Inspiring Leadership again. Okay, next up we have this pack. It's actually getting pretty fun, so let's see. Let's see what we got. And there's a Decepticon. Oh, Skywarp. Well, I'll take that. Sneaky Prankster. When you flip this mode, each player reveals the top card of their deck. When this defends and you flip at least one, whatever that is, you may choose one of your other characters. If you do, damage from this attack is done to that character instead. Hmm. That is... Pretty cool, I have to say. So, try and get these sleeved up actually. So, it's not easy to put them in like that so if you don't want to try it. If you want to keep them in the best condition, since it, they, they're jumbo cards, so they're gonna have to be sent out as jumbo cards. So, we're gonna probably send them out with some of the Pokemon cards that are jumbo. Now, this one is Leap into Battle, Medic, Drill Arms. data pad cargo tra trailer put on trucks only the upgrade character has one at plus attack for each cargo trailer on it up to three cargo trailers can fit into in its utility slot and we wonder who that is Optimus Prime right disarm and equipment enthusiast Draw a card for each of your upgrades. Okay, this one I actually want to sleeve up. Actually, now I can see how we can build a deck out of them. So that's pretty good. We have three more packs to go. I know I'm going pretty slow, but since this is a new card game set, I just want to see what's in them. And I know some of you guys probably want to pause and take a look at them too. If you are interested in Transformers. So let's see. 
Okay, das war's wort. Das war gerade Okay. Come on. We need one leader card. Can we get it? Autobot Hound. Long range scout truck. Melee. Now let's see. Melee. Wow. That is cool. Okay, let's get this sleeved up. So if you guys see anything you guys like, just feel free to pause and read it because since I don't know any of what these symbols do, I'm just gonna leave them when we pull them out. There we go. And now we got armor plating. Upgrade, no, oh, plus one defense, I believe. Probably defense or shield. Not sure about that. I think that's pretty interesting. Incoming transmission. Draw two cards, then put a card from your hand on the top of your deck. Ooh. Do one damage to an enemy. Zap. Leap into battle. Swap parts. Choose two of your characters, swap their upgrades. Computer sabotage. Your opponent chooses three cards in their hand and scraps the rest. Chooses three cards from their hand. And see, what the? Disruptive entrance. Wow, look at Optimus Prime. Look at your opponent's hand, scrap an action from it. Okay. So we're going to sleeve up that one. And there was one more I wanted to sleeve up. It's anything with Megatron or Optimus Prime. We're going to sleeve those up. I'm going to wait until PSA has like a, a special deal. Then I'll grade some of these. But the whole, these we cannot put them in specials. They have to be sent up with jumbles because they're too large. So those are usually like, I believe like $20 a car to send out before shipping and handling. So, so those have to be sent out on their own. So definitely going to send those out. And then we have this one. Okay, next pack. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. Deadlock. Oh. Bounty Hunter Deadlock. Ooh. No ability. Range. Car melee. When you flip this mode, choose an enemy. If it's KO'd this turn, draw two cards. Hmm. I guess this vehicle mode is better. Although its attack is also really good. I'm kind of like five. I think it's the highest so far. So mostly Decepticons. We only got we got two Autobots. From eight packs, I mean seven packs so far, we got five Decepticons. We'll do a recap of them after. Now let's see. Okay, let's see what's in here. Data pad. Primary laser. Scrapper gauntlets. Supercharge. Peace through tyrants. Tyranny. You may KO one of your characters that has six or more stars on it. If you do take an extra turn after this one, what? What? Grenade launcher? After the upgraded character attacks, scrap this card. Bug bomb? Put an Insecticons only. When the upgraded character is KO, draw a card, scrap an enemy upgrade, and your opponent chooses a card from their hand and scraps it. What? Oh, this, this sounds like a pretty fun card game, actually. Okay, we're going to sleep that one up. And this one up. Okay, next one. 
from this, looking at this, just reminds me of the good old days when Wizards of the Coast made Pokemon cards. The quality was just amazing. These days, it's just, yeah. And we got an odd one. Oh, I'll take that. It might not be Optimus Prime, but it is RC. Wow, we didn't get any doubles. When you flip this mode, repair one damage from each of your characters. Wow. This has Pierce equal to her attack. Do at least one damage when attacking. What? Well, no Optimus Prime, but we'll try again later then, for sure. Maybe I'll try to find a box of these. RC, wow. That's beautiful. Okay, let's see, last pack. Okay. Can we get something unique? Drill arm again, okay. Battle ready. Wait. Oh, maybe this means common and uncommons. Oh, that means rare. Okay. Common. So this was rapid conversion. Flip one of your characters into its other mode. Zap. Hunker down is the rare. And then uncommon is ram speed and emergency maintenance. Oh, so that's how it is. Okay. Also, they do have rares and uncommons. Okay, so it is like a normal. Okay, that is actually better. Let me go through these. So basically, we sleeved up some of the commons. Okay, this was a rare, common, uncommon, rare, common, uncommon. Okay, so we're going to have to go through the stack and see... What is really a common and what's not? So I must have tossed some that were rares in here then. I'll have these sleeved up later. So just keep them clean. Common. Oh. So nope, nope, nope. Oh, swap parts is a rare. Team Up Tactics was a rare. Shock Absorbers was a rare. Wave 1. So they're probably gonna rotate the set by waves, I guess. Energon Axe. Okay, so we have a few rares, so we'll sleep those up too. This is actually pretty interesting. Okay, so that basically concludes our Transformer opening. So now we'll just do a quick recap of the character cards. After I just clean up all this piece of plastic off the table but overall I have to say this is such a pretty interesting set so if you're a Transformers fan definitely consider these so we have RC Deadlock Autobot Hound Skywarp Ransack Bumblebee Flamore and Starscream. Now for the vehicle modes. So I'm gonna flip it around. Here's RC's. Oops, minus the plastic. RC. Deadlock. Autobot Hound. Skywarp. Ransack. Bumblebee. Flame War. And Starscream. So, pretty interesting set, I have to say. So, if you guys enjoyed this set, please. Leave in the comments down below what you think about the card set and what is your favorite Transformer. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
If you guys did, please remember to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. We're gonna do some more uh, Pokemon openings. I'm gonna add Yu-Gi-Oh! and some other card game openings and try to diversify our PSA grading submissions. So that would be more interesting to have than just Pokemon cards. But anyway, have enjoy the rest of your day. I'll catch you guys later.